Hello, my name is Jan Ketel Rudd, and I will in this video demonstrate for you how to use a Python script to generate different levels of sea level rise. I have here a Python script already, and one way of just starting modifying it or running it is to right click on the file, select Edit with Idle ArcGIS Pro. That will open a text editor with the script. So the first line in the script is to import ArcPy, which gives you access to several of the tools in the ArcGIS Pro toolbox. And we also want to have access to the environmental settings. So that's the next line. And in the third line, if you run the script several times, you may want to overwrite old data. So this is here set by true, so you, you can overwrite old data. Then I set up a path and a name of a geodatabase here, and this works then exactly as the default geodatabase in your ArcGIS Pro project. So data will be read from this uh, geodatabase, and when you produce data, this data will be stored in this geodatabase. Then I will use a high resolution digital elevation model and I use a variable to indicate its name. And this is then stored in your geodatabase. Then we need some additional tools from the spatial uh, toolbox. Uh, and to be able to access this, you should have this line of code also. Next line here, extract then the value of the maximum elevation in your digital elevation model. So it gets the raster properties from the digital elevation model, which is the maximum. And it converts this value to float. This is maybe strange because the value are already in float, but this get raster properties do not return the values as float. So you need to specify that they should be transformed to a float value. And this is just printing this value. And then this is the next here is a list of scenarios of sea level rise that you want to generate layers for. So I have here seven scenarios, one up to seven, and they all represent meters of sea level rise. And then we go into a loop. So for any Every element in this list, these lines of code are executed. So this loop goes seven times and all these lines of codes are then executed seven times because I have seven elements in my list. So first I just print a statement that now we are analyzing the first and the second, etc. element in the list, representing a, a specified meter sea level rise and then a variable of the output raster. So this is the name of a raster with C level one, two, three, etc. And we use the reclassify function to reclassify all the pixel values in the digital elevation model. And we only have two output pixel values, those which represent C and those which represent LAN. In a one meter sea level rise scenarios, every pixel values that are up to one meter, we code as one. And all those which are from one meter and up to the maximum value, they are coded as no data. So we are able to then separate only the C. And then the uh, reclassify function is run, so it evaluates all the pixels in the digital elevation model and we save the result in a new uh, raster. The next two lines make a feature class of this raster, so this is just a variable for the feature class name and then the conversion is done from raster to polygon. And all these then happen as many times as you have elements in your list. By running the tool, you click 
run Moodle or you click the F5 and that will open another window where we see the progress of the code. So this is then the output from the print max statement here and the next one it the first entry in the loop here printing here analyzing scenario of one meter sea level rise because one is here the first entry and now we come to the second loop so it goes on and for every loop it generates one raster with a given sea level rise scenario and one feature class with a given sea level scenario and then it is finished when you've got these three um, signs here and you will find then seven rasters and seven feature class in the geo database you have indicated here in your environmental workshop thanks for listening <laughs>